How's it going everyone? Welcome to Lit Up. My name is Zach and in today's video I'm going to be explaining to you guys why I think this right here, the Field & Stream Angler 8 or any type of bolt like this because there's a lot of other companies that make almost the same exact version, but why this specific boat is the best plastic bass boat on the market. Now we did do a full review on this specific boat uh, about a year or so ago, uh, so I'll Put the link down in the description below if you want to check that out feel free uh, but i'm going to be going over some key points that we missed in that video one of them being loading this thing up in the bed of the truck one man so you guys can see how i do that and uh the safe way to do it and, and the efficient way so let's go over some of the key points like i was talking about and then after that i will be taking this thing out on the lake and fishing with it with the gopro on so you guys can see why it's the best plastic bass boat on the market Okay, so right away, you're gonna really wanna consider traveling light. Now, with two people, this thing can get cluttered really, really fast. Now, with one person, not so much, but I'm gonna tell you why, just as one person, you're gonna wanna um, travel light. So this is all I carry right here. Just a small little tackle box that holds, you know, some crankbaits, jerkbaits, frogs, uh, uh, chatterbaits, and all that important stuff just something small like this and then the other thing i have here is a soft plastic container and important accessories and by important accessories i mean scissors pipe pliers um line hooks and all that stuff but yes also all the soft plastics that i love to use now the reason you're going to want to travel light as one person is because when you're traveling with the boat in the back of your truck, um, most of the time you take everything out, put it in in your vehicle. So when you reach the boat landing, you gotta unload the you gotta unload the boat, take everything out of your vehicle, put it into the boat, and then you know reverse that uh, when you're leaving the lake. So when you have a lot of stuff, it tends to get really difficult and annoying having a lot, all that tackle. Now there's a lot of people on YouTube that have made modification videos to this type of boat. And I'm gonna tell you right now, most of those modifications are a complete waste of money. Um, now, if you wanna put a fish finder on this, absolutely. I mean, that's not a waste of money. That's always gonna help you. But people have tend to put, you know, raised decks, carpeted, you know, just to stand a little bit higher. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you can buy this and the day of go on the water and this thing is extremely stable and you guys will see that here very shortly all right one last thing before we load this thing up into the truck and get it on the lake is that if you plan on fishing with a partner the majority of the time i highly recommend getting the 10 foot because that extra two feet of space is really going to help a lot with leg room and tackle now you can fish two people out of this eight foot, obviously, and you can actually see that in the video down in the description below, like I was telling you guys, but it's just gonna be a little tight. Now, if you do plan on getting the 10 foot, you need to think about the negatives if you plan on going solo fishing, which is the loading up into the truck and unloading. It's gonna be a heavier boat and more of a hassle to deal with compared to the eight foot. Now, in order to load this boat up, the first thing you're gonna need is probably a 10 to 15 foot rope. And I'm gonna show you guys why. And boom, just like that, super easy to load up by yourself, as you guys could see. Now, if you're wondering what I wrapped the rope around, there's two handles on the back of the boat. Nothing that I added to the boat. They're already there when you buy the boat. So uh, you just wrap that rope around, hop up on the tailgate, lift it up, super easy. So that right there is one of the main reasons why I think that boat is the best plastic boat you can get. But let's get on the water, and I'll show you guys why I love this boat. And 
just like that. Now, as you guys can see, I'm standing up right now, and this thing is extremely stable. Now, one negative I do have about this is that it's a very, very light boat, which means if there's any type of wind out there, it's going to blow you around. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to invest in a nice uh, anchor or something like that. Now, as you can see, uh, this thing flies with just one person in this. The more people you get in here, or the more weight, the slower it is, obviously. But with, ju with just you in this boat, it's super fast with a 30-pound thrust uh, trolling motor. Now, I would love to upgrade the trolling motor to a 55, and this thing would really fly then. But for now, the 30 works. The second I get out of the water, it never fucking fails. <laughs> and just like that. This is what has been messing with me all day trying to catch bass. This little thing. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh you pike. Alright. Whoo that was close. Well Unfortunately, it was a terrible day for fishing. The second I got out of the water, it started downpouring rain. Um, I must have tossed every type of bait that I had, and I couldn't get a single bass bite. I caught two little dinky perch that shouldn't, even, that had no business biting that stuff. But um, what I will do is show you guys some earlier footage of me and Scott on the Angler Eight, uh, actually pulling in some decent sized fish. Just so you guys can uh, see that so here you go oh yeah dude dude get the net get the fucking net let's go boy beauty what a beauty It's a nice pike. Head first, head first, head first. Nice, dude. Holy shit. All right, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped in any way. Make sure to subscribe because we got a lot of cool fishing videos on the channel. So if you love fishing, uh, this channel will be perfect for you. So once again, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next vid.